Brian's going to want to be over here. It's time now for Ask the Expert. October is National Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And the American Cancer Society estimates more than 230,000 new cases of invasive breast cancer will be diagnosed in women this year alone and more than 2,300 new cases in men. So joining us to talk more about this is registered dietitian Lori Meyer. Thanks so much for joining us. So let's talk about this. Breast cancer just seems so prevalent in our society right now. Anything we can do to, to prevent it seems like... Well, you know, and that's really what the key is in any disease. If you can prevent it, you're always going to be better off. Right now, we don't even exactly know what causes it. And I think as soon as they can figure out what's causing it, they'll be able to treat it and prevent it. But what the researchers have been finding, obviously genetics only plays about a 15% role in this, but 85% of it might be due to long-term exposure to environmental carcinogens. Hmm. And uh, as we get older, we get more breast cancer. It tends to be more tied to a, an estrogen malignancy. But I put together a couple of the things. So more chemical exposures, we have to really watch that if we want to reduce our risk, especially the xenoestrogens. That's the BPAs and the phthalates and the PCBs. So we want to watch and minimize that. Cigarette smoking is a huge sure. problem with, right. with breast cancer, as is alcohol consumption, excess alcohol. That means more than one drink a day for women and more than two drinks a day for men. In addition to that, we're looking at things like being overweight, a huge factor, not exercising enough. Something new, this imbalanced microbiota, that's an imbalance of the microorganisms. I just came back from a convention, everything is about the microbiota, microorganisms. And that would be and your gut, right? Your gut bacteria and yeah. bacteria throughout the entire body. Mm -hmm. And then we're also looking at, at vitamin D levels and also um, light exposure. So night shift workers and people who don't go to bed on time, mm. they have a higher risk of breast cancer Interesting. as well. Interesting. So it is the football season. Let's talk about defense. What sort of defense can we put up against these? And, and that's exactly things. what we want to do. The researchers have found some good things. They found that if we get certain B vitamins, especially folate and B6, that this actually reduces the risk. The people who have the highest levels, lowest risk. There's also an enzyme called aromatase, and this enzyme increases estrogen in the breast cancer cells. So there are some drugs that have this anti aromatase activity. Mm. We're also finding certain foods that can do that as well. Cruciferous vegetables, we all love them. Cruciferous vegetables, your broccoli, cabbage, and we'll show, show you them in a minute, but they have compounds that also block the tumor activity as well. Um, and so I think that what we really want to do is start looking at our diet and looking for ways that we can actually get more of these kinds of foods in our in our diet. The camera just showed, you know, black beans, yeah. and we have some. And so when we're looking at folate, folate's one of the most important nutrients for this. Beans, any beans, lentils, I have garbanzos, spinach, any green beets. leafies, beets, and asparagus. So if you can try to get some of those, you don't have to get all of them, but if you can at least get a couple of those in the diet mm -hmm. on a regular basis, you're going to be good. When we look at B6, we're looking at turkey and chicken, tuna and salmon, sweet potatoes, sunflower seeds, banana. There's so got to be, gotta be something on there that, that we can eat. So mm -hmm. we can yeah. try to get, those are the top sources. Okay. Uh, these are the anti-aromatase. Ginger and garlic and turmeric, avocado, gr um, green onions, but the highest are mushrooms. And oh, just really? the plain white button mushrooms. And so I have a chicken salad here that's got celery in it and yeah. the turmeric. These are things that are all going to help. And then the cruciferous, those are all the broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower family. And then I just said, you know, try to make things. This is a, an avocado and asparagus salad, so we're using a couple of the groups. Good stuff. This is a spinach and mushroom and lentil mm -hmm. kind of stew. But try to get more of those things in the diet. And if you get more of these, I think we're going to re actually reduce our chances. Because we can all do this. Yes. Yeah. yeah. All right. Lori, thanks. Have a question for our experts? Email them at asktheexpert at todaystmj4.com. You can also leave a voicemail. The number, as always, right there on your screen.